Oh. Were you expecting to see a happy, smiling, bright Lauren with pieces of makeup on her face and her hair? Not like this? Oh, sorry. She stepped out for the moment. Also, this is my pajama shirt. It's a little bit see-through, so you might see the shade of nip beneath it, and, um, you're welcome. Because I'm not changing my shirt right now because I'm pissed. We met Oldemort a couple of days ago in the hallway. And he got really close onto us to talk. And it made me very uncomfortable. But I just try to stare him in the eyes to know that, to let him know, like, don't get any closer, old. His name's Steve. He was actually kind of nice. What was the subject of our conversation? Roaches. I don't know if I told you my other vlog, my joyous, happy vlog about my great new place. <laughs> There's this girl, Maria. On like the second day we lived here. We hadn't even, I don't even think we'd lived here. I think we had just mo started moving stuff in. And she says, have you guys seen any roaches in your apartment? And we're like, no. Like one or two dead biggins, you know? And that's just like, I don't know. They just kind of crawl through the doors when you live in the South. It's no big deal. They're, it's really not a big deal. She's like, well, take a look at this image that I took in my apartment just now. She had just moved in. It was her first day. She was just moving stuff in. Hundreds of dead German cockroaches. Everywhere, kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms, everywhere. And we're like, oh shit. And she's like, yes, I'm breaking my lease. She lasted two days. Cause they didn't even clean it up for her. It's not like they just killed and like swept with the roaches and we're like, haha, deal with it. They're like, no, like you just, here, here, here's your present. Dead roach, surprise. We started to freak out, but you know, there was none in our apartment as of yet. So we're like, you know what? All we have to do is get one of those bug barrier things and just like spray the pesticides. I, I told you guys about this because we were talking about lip cancers. Yeah. So, you know, I had traps all over my house before we'd even completely moved in. But then when we met with Steve, he's like, hey, I'm getting an infestation in my home. They're crawling underneath the doors. They're infesting. I keep asking him to send someone out and they're not fixing it. And he's like, I might have to leave. I'm like, oh my Christ. And he's like, have you guys been seeing any? And I'm like, actually, yeah. We've just been seeing the tiny ones now. He's like, oh no. Oh no. That's the worst kind. The German cockroaches. They're the ones. They live longer than other roaches. They have a shorter reproductive cycle than other roaches. They reach sexual maturity earlier than other roaches. And they like to hide in tiny little small crevices where a lot of the poisons can't reach. Also, they are like... There was some bait they used to use years ago that included like sucrose in it, I believe, like sugar and sorry, that included sugar in it. And apparently they like trained their like DNA to no longer eat sugar, which is, it tastes like bad to them, which is used in a lot of the roach baits. Okay. They're also immune to a lot of the other poisons. They've like adapted. These guys are the hardest ones to get rid of. You guys may have seen on Instagram, if you follow me, at Lauren Riley the Freak, that I, I told, you know, briefly this tale. And a couple of people commented that when they had roaches living in their house, they did get rid of them. They had to move out. Or they had to throw away half of their stuff because it was infested with roaches and then move out. Like you guys know, this was my, like, favorite place so far. It's super walkable. The location is better than even the place. Like yesterday. So Alex and I love walking. It's one of our favorite things to do. So yesterday we left our house at noon, took a 10 mile walk, like through gorgeous neighborhoods. We went to like um, grocery stores. We went to like a big shopping center. We like, all, and we just wandered 10 miles, you guys. And we got home at like 6 p.m. and cooked a delicious dinner. And it was just wonderful. It was so nice. And I'm like, I could do this every, every weekend. And we probably will, <laughs> if we can stay here. Steve, you know, tells us beware put more traps out i'm calling the um calling the leasing company to try and get them to come and send an exterminator out you know if you guys start seeing more definitely call them and we're like thank you steve we will two days later i'm feeding my cats luna has like bad teeth she had like dead rotten teeth when we got her as like a one-year-old cat so i don't know what the hell the people who had her before us did so she kind of has trouble like chewing stuff so she only eats wet food and it's better for cats anyways so um, generally, like, she kind of eats slowly, so I'll put, like, a little bit of food out, and sometimes it'll sit a little while. <laughs> Didn't realize that was a disaster waiting to happen. I have these trays, and I put, like, a plate of food on the trays, and I, like, scoop out a little, couple of spoonfuls of food for her. And then um, I set it on, like, the shelf, because the shelf was, like, up the, off the ground, and cats kind of, like, eating higher up, at least mine do. So, you know, I put their food up there, and I lifted the tray to sanitize it like I do every two days. Like I told you, I'm a clean person, y'all. I'm clean. Get a little cluttered from time to time, but like my food surfaces, sanitize, my kitchen always spotless. Like that's my, that's my style. Okay. There was a roach underneath the tray. German cockroach. 
So I was like, Alex, give me the raid. And he got me the raid. And we spray and I sprayed it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't usually kill bugs. Like even before when I'd find the big roaches, I would like in spiders and shit, I like scoop them up and I like take them outside. I'm like, be free, friend. <laughs> no, I'm like an exterminating machine right now. I actually have like smashed some. Makes me feel really guilty because I don't like inflicting harm upon other um, creatures, but like fuck roaches. Fuck roaches. I sprayed the roach and I was like, oh crap, he fell down through the crack into my shoe. Gross. And then I saw him flipping about. And I'm like, well, if he's up here flipping about, who fell through? <gasps> Wait a second. <sighs> That's the sound I made whenever I saw 30 more roaches falling through the wall. Like seriously, they're like trickling down. I'm fucking sweating because I turned off the fan because it's loud. It's hot in here because there's no overhead. Oh God. <sighs> so they're falling out. They're just like trickling through the cracks behind that shelf because the shelf isn't quite like sealed against the wall. <laughs> so there's a nest. Ow, I hurt my eye and I can't quite see. So there was a nest there, you guys, behind my cat's food, crawling on their food, probably inflicting them with diseases for at least a couple of days. We've only lived here for two weeks and there was a nest of like 30 roaches. Last night we went on our great walk. Oh, before I start crying, let me tell you. Also, I hope that you guys enjoy that. I'm just, I'm discussing. Okay. I've been wanting to get myself a backpack because you know I'm a rough and tumble like adventurer type and... I just always carry this little purse because that's just what I have. I'm also a cheap fuck. So um, also you might notice me cursing a lot more because I don't give a shit about YouTube's ads anymore because they're taking off all my videos. So like, I don't give a fuck. Anyways, maybe I should put this for 18 and up because I'm just gonna be cursing and being disgusting from now on since I don't give a shit about what YouTube thinks of me. It's got a single strap. So it's like, it goes around and you can like, rotate it if you want to access your stuff easily like just right under chin level it's got zippered pouches it's got it's got the zippers are hidden so pickpockets can't can't get to me that easy i can wear it on the front so wait okay so i'm really stoked i'm so stoked but back to the sadness so last night after we got back from our 10 mile walk we went into a williams sonoma we can't afford anything there duh but they were cooking this like delicious coconut curry and I'm like, I want that for dinner. So we went to the store and we bought like, usually I would make my own sauce, but I already walked 10 miles. So I was not gonna make my own sauce. So I bought a jar of sauce for the first time and it was delicious. And I got some like vegetables and like sliced them up. And I was like sauteing and I was like, oh, better cook my rice. So I got it my rice cooker. Well, the rice cooker has a little steam catch on the back. So all like the rice googie and excess steam can kind of like go up and then drain through into the back. So it doesn't overflow. And you have to, you know, dump that out. So sake doesn't form. In that little steam catch, Three roach turds. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have all my food like stored in like airtight mason jars, everything. I've been doing it for years because it's nice to know the bugs can't get in at all. No scents and weird shit can get in. Uh, no moisture is getting in. And um, I just really like the look of it. You know, it looks like an old general store, like an old timey thing. I love it. And it's just like, you can see all your ingredients. So I'm not too worried about them getting in my food, but like food prep surfaces, which I sanitize every day. Like, like I said, I'm a clean person. Like my kitchen's always clean. My bathroom's always clean. Like I don't mess around. I don't like dirty scum. You know, I just don't like it. It freaks me out and it smells weird. So I'm tweaking it out a little bit, knowing that a roach was crawling in my favorite rice cooker. And then I opened it up and there was little dirds along the rim to like four of them. So I sanitized it, I cooked my basmati, and the curry was quite excellent, I will say. When we found that nest this weekend, we sprayed the shit out of it, we, we cleaned our entire house again, I like cleaned out my whole kitchen again, got like more stuff out off the counter so I could like see, you know, just made sure everything was sealed. We bought more traps, we put more traps out everywhere, like expensive nice ones. But now I'm reading that the German cockroaches don't even, like the baits might even work. They might not even work. So I emailed the property management company and I was like, you guys, please, can we get somebody out here to deal with this scenario? And this morning they sent somebody. All he did was put more traps. He just put more traps. And I was like, hey, I already have like 40 traps in my house. And I wrote that in the email to you guys. But I appreciated his effort. And I asked him if, they, if he knew if they were doing any exterminating in the apartment upstairs where the source is. And he's like, yeah, well, I'm only kind of a part-time guy here. I don't really know all the details, but yeah, I think that they are. I'm like, okay, cool. I called the leasing company anyways, obviously. And I'm like, hey, I appreciate that you sent that kind of man out to put the traps. But like I said in my email, I already had shitloads of traps and sprays. Um, these are German cockroaches. I'm panicking and crying. And can you please send an exterminator out ASAP? And she's like, okay, let me contact the head of the leasing company and we'll call you back. I just called her right before I made this. We'll call you back and we'll see if we can't get somebody out. 
Hopefully they do. Because I love this place and I love where I'm at, you guys. And I'm trying to have the year of Lauren. It seems like the universe is shitting in my life as per usual. I don't want to say that because that's what depressed people say because they're distorted, but I'm also a depressed person. So like the universe is shitting on my life. I'm sweating because I'm like just, I'm, I'm annoyed and I turn my fan off and I just wanted to tell you guys this and I hope that Joyous Lauren comes back, but we don't know because at this point I'm living in a bug's paradise right now and I am not a bug. So this is not my paradise. 